Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Keyframe Stretcher Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and I've got a quick little uh, lower third setup and it's pretty simple. Just some text animated and a background animated. And just to show like the different animations that's going on. So when we move on to this node, I've got uh, the name text animated over here and separate animation for the like a name position and separate animation for the uh, little graphic and that's all just on one transform so the text is animated in the text node this text animated in the text node and the uh, little ellipse is animated on a transform node all merged together so we get this coming in and then going out so if we go to our edit, we can see we've got our little animation. So we could grab, say, say a video in the background and we've got our little lower thirds going over. And that's not me, just so you know. <laughs> so, but let's say the, uh, your client said, Hey, I want the graphic to go over the entire, uh, the entire, uh, footage and then go out right at the end. So your options are to extend your fusion. You can go in here and make it longer if you want, redo your animation, or we can use a keyframe stretcher. So if I search keyframe stretcher and bring that node in, and what the keyframe stretcher node is going to do for us is it's going to stretch between our keyframes. That way we don't have to redo all our beginning and end keyframes. So up top, we have our source start and our source end, and this is our existing composition that we got going. So if we look at our uh, animation, and they're all set at the same one. So at frame 24 is when our last animation comes in. And then it starts again at frame 94 and goes out. So our keyframe stretcher source is going to start at zero and end at 120. So for our entire composition. And our stretch start and our stretch end is where we want that stretch to actually begin. And you can honestly put any number that you want in here. You could start it at frame zero if you wanted your stretch to start there. But sometimes it makes your uh, animation change speeds so if you have a set speed for your animation you don't want to do that so just good practice what i normally do is set it a frame after my last animation so i will start at frame 25 and then i will go end a frame before my last animation which is 94 so on my keyframe stretcher i will set this to 93. But again, you can make this any number you want to begin your stretching. And down here you have stretch edges instead, which is going to just stretch your animation at the end, but it's going to add some odd artifacts. And uh, I'll show you that here in a second. And invert timing is just inverting the timing of your uh, animations. So now that we've got that set, if we go back into our edit tab, we can now just take our fusion composition and extend it all the way across. So now it is coming in, it's lasting the entire time and then going up. So instead of doing all that work with one node, we could just uh, stretch our time and it all works perfectly fine. Now do know that, uh, hit control D and reset this to 120 frames, which was the original. Lately, I've been having issues with reducing the timing because this node used to work if I reduce the timing as well. But now you can see I'm having glitches and I don't know why that is happening. It didn't used to do that. So I don't know if it's the updated version of DaVinci Resolve or the updated version of Fusion, but it's not working correctly anymore. And I try to troubleshoot it to figure out why, but for some reason, I can't stretch below the time anymore. 
like I said, it used to work as long as you didn't stretch below your, your uh, keyframes. But for some reason, it doesn't work. But it works perfectly fine if you go beyond. So what I was talking about with the uh, stretch edges instead, if I select this and go back, you can see how slow that's coming in because it's stretching everything from the edges. And then when it goes out, it's going out super slow because <laughs> the edges are stretching too. And if I uncheck that and go back, now it's back to my original uh, animation speed. So just be careful when you're uh, selecting stretch edges. You may want that look, but it is going to change your animation speed. And this node can go anywhere you want. It can go at the end of all your animations. If I only wanted, say, the uh, text to be animated, I could put it on the text. So now only my text is going to be animated. And you see our graphic just went out and now our text is. So wherever you want this keyframe stretcher, it's going to stretch those keyframes in between. So that is the keyframe stretcher. I will see you in the next node breakdown.